What up, Bucks fans? This is Michael Plus, a real Bucks talk. Wanted to discuss today the offensive coordinator search and give you guys an update on that and what has been transpiring so far over these last couple of weeks. Um, but as you see there on the screen, Mike Garofalo uh, says, Dan Pitcher, the Bengals QB coach, will remain in Cincinnati. And that makes sense. He just got a contract extension from them. And to work with Joe Burrow makes a lot of sense. A great situation for him to continue to develop himself as a coach and also potentially get, you know, opportunities next offseason for a bigger uh, role. Um, so that makes a lot of sense. So he drops out. So he's already interviewed twice with the Bucks and was considered a top candidate, but he is removing himself from the mix. But you look at the other tweet, the tweet underneath it, uh, Tom Paracello, Tom Pelissero, Rams assistant head coach Thomas Brown is scheduled to fly into Tampa for a visit and obviously an interview with the Bucks on Wednesday. Uh, that is very intriguing. They already interviewed him virtually, and now he's coming in for a visit. Um, but you also see he's got another interview with Carolina. So, you know, some competition there. And he would be a coach I'd be very happy with, again, under Sean McVay's offense, knows it very well, can bring that type of system to the Bucks. I would be, I think all Bucks fans would be excited about that one. A, a offense that utilizes play action a lot, um, has a good run game with the zone, you know, zone schemes and just understands how to get their players to football, create space for their, their weapons. That would be very fun. And let's take a look at them. You see them here. Uh, Thomas Brown, again, former uh, Georgia running back. Uh, and that's his specialty. He has been a running, running backs coach. He's also been offense coordinator at in the college level with the University of Miami. So really understands how to maximize the run game. And I think when you look at him pairing with Todd Bowles, that would be obviously a good fit. Um, but he's done a lot of great work and really seems like a very good communicator. Um, if you guys go look on YouTube, there's some good videos of him talking and, and really detailing it. He has the right mindset as a coach. So he would be a lot of fun. I think he'd be very interesting, uh, you know, to upgrade to the OC. That would be cool. Um, and then you look at uh, this tweet as well. The Buccaneers interviewing Seahawks QB's coach Dave Can Canales. I think that's how you say it. Um, so he's set to meet with Tampa and I'm sure that's happened or maybe it's going to happen this week. Another intriguing guy um, has really done well with, you know, helping Geno Smith in the season that he had um, and understands, you know, the passing game very well. So that, that would be, you know, cool. Um, again, another intriguing candidate. I think the main thing is with these outside candidates that they're looking at is, really changing the scheme and really getting more modern and how they attack NFL defenses. I think, you know, heavy play action, motion, all those things um, that we're looking for, that would be cool with these, these guys. So, you know, Thomas Brown, again, another one I'm a, I'm a big fan of. So hopefully we'll get some resolutions here soon, but that's the takeaway. Uh, Dan pitcher is out for the OC. Um, and obviously Thomas Brown, Dave Canales are the new uh, candidates. So see what happens, hopefully. Um, and, you know, there's still those other candidates that they've interviewed still have a chance. You know, Todd Munkin is still in the running. Um, um, Shay Tierney from the Giants. All those guys are in the mix. Uh, Clint Kubiak. So it, it will be intriguing. We'll see what happens. Uh, be sure to hit that like button. Let us know what you think of this news. Who do you want as Bucks OC? Um, how do you see it playing out? Uh, would, would any of those guys in, intrigue to you? Or, or do you have a new name that you still haven't seen yet interviewed that you would like to be interviewed? Uh, let us know down in the comments. And with that said, until the next one.